Hey friends, Donovan Bankhead here with Ernie Williamson Music, and I wanted to show you a really cool trumpet from my friend Adam Rappa. If you're a trumpet enthusiast, you're probably familiar with Adam. He's probably one of the preeminent jazz trumpet soloists of our generation right now. He's just a phenomenal player. Uh, I've done some video reviews before of, of a couple different Lotus trumpets we have. At Ernie Williamson Music, we are a Lotus trumpet dealer. And uh, so this one is the Universal model. In previous videos, I've shown you the Universal Max and the Silver Flare. This is the Universal model and kind of excuse some of the watermarks and stuff on it. I've been playing this horn a fair amount lately because I just really wanted to get familiar with it. This one has the optional 130 millimeter bell which is more like a standard sized bell. Um, for those imperialists, uh, that would be a 5.12 inch bell. So uh, that's uh, the bell that's on there. I don't know why every time I start a video, my dog starts going nuts. I'm, when I start playing, he always howls, but it's like, he knows I'm talking and he's like, yeah, Dan, like let's, Let's do it every single time. Hang on. There's Sarge. Hi, buddy. And Emma's the quiet one. She's the little one. She's being quiet. But Sarge is the one that you just got to make a racket every time Dad does a video, or don't you? He's super sweet and cute and handsome, but uh, always making a racket. And anyway. All right, sorry. We're back to the video here. We'll see if, see if Sarge lets us continue this conversation. Anyway, so this has the 130-millimeter the, the, uh, bell. Now... So a little more, honestly, it's still bigger than your average bell. A Bach bell is four and three quarters of an inch. Uh, some, a lot of other manufacturers oversized bells five inches. So this is actually a little bit bigger even than that. But what this does, it gives you a little bit more of a directional sound. So it's a little more focused sound. And it, certainly if you're the kind of player that you need a horn that sort of does it all, uh, you need something that you can play lead with. You need something that you can play classical stuff with. Like this horn lately, in the, in the last uh, uh, week, this horn, I've played lead with it uh, in a big band. I've played section work in a big band, and I've played uh, uh, in a wind ensemble with it all in the last week, same horn. Um, so if you're that kind of player, you want one horn to sort, sort of do it all, this, this smaller bell size, smaller in the Lotus world, is probably a good choice. Um, the other thing that I've got with uh, th this particular instrument today, but is always an option, is in addition to, so a couple things about it. So we got the yellow brass bell tail here, which gives you our traditional kind of brilliance and sparkle to the sound. But then we've got a phosphor bronze uh, bell attachment here with a beautiful like polished inside but that adds just a little bit of richness and warmth to your sound so you still get some sparkle but then with a little bit of lushness to it we have the same phosphor bronze on our tuning slide crook and then if you prefer though I also you can also get it in the yellow brass tuning slide crook and so that's just gonna again give you some more brilliance and it kind of excuse the grime, but it just the aesthetic of the way they've done, like the way they've kind of scalloped some of the receivers and the mouthpiece receiver, it's just really pretty. It's very pretty the way they've done it. The, the, the pull on the second slide, kind of Art Deco inspired. Even the finger rings are ergonomic. So you can see it's thinner on top and wider at the bottom and they're uh, rounded, so they feel comfortable when you stick your finger in it. Same thing with the pinky ring, it's also ergonomic. So just a very well-designed instrument and really comfortable and easy to play. One of the other things that's kind of cool, so right now you can see I've got the heavy caps, but it's not all three heavy caps. The first two, are actually standard weight caps. They're just extended. They're hollow on the inside. And the third one is weighted. Now, 
I do have a third one that you can use in the standard weight. You see the difference there? I'll grab my handy scale real quick. I can even weigh it and tell you how much it is. It doesn't, doesn't necessarily make for the greatest viewing possibly. So this is the standard hollow cap. It's 0.6 of an ounce. And the heavy cap is 1.1 ounces. So that gives you an idea of like it's almost twice as heavy basically. And so you can, and so I have an extra. So if you want all the caps to be the same weight, you can. But if you'd like to add the heavier weight on the third valve, you can. Why would you want to? Uh, to remove a few of the upper end harmonics. So it's emphasizing a little bit more of the lower fundamental uh, than adding and, and giving you less, a little more dynamic range where you can play louder without it starting to get that sizzle. Adding that weight to the third valve cap does that, to the third valve uh, slide does that. Third valve, to the third valve. I don't know why I can't speak. If you'd prefer to just use standard valve caps, those are also included. And let's see how much those weigh. 0.2 ounce. So these are like the lightweight ones, 0.2 ounce. And then these are the standard ones. They're extended but hollow, 0.6 ounce. Or you get the heavy one that is 1.1 ounces. And then also included is there are heavy and recessed valve tops. So they are heavier in weight and they are also recessed. So if we were to put them on, which I haven't yet done, maybe I will, we'll see. Uh, when you push the valve down, instead of the valve like being up on top like that, the valve will actually re recede into the valve cap. Uh, something that like the vintage one trumpet did. And honestly, I'd also be remiss if I didn't point out the valve tops. Like those are just lovely, super lovely. Okay, so a couple things. So went through the bell already. This is super easy to play instrument. Um, the receiver is a lightweight receiver. It's, it's a machined bronze uh, receiver. And the lead pipe is also lightweight and it's machined in brass. So a lot of times with your other traditional trumpet makers, you know, Bach, Yamaha, but basically everybody, they'll just take a st stock tubing of metal and they'll draw that tube. And it's not as strong and resonant as a machined part. Machined part is stronger, uh, has more integrity and is more uh, uh, resonant. So these are all machined. Um, and uh, so both, both parts there are machined. And I'm kind of checking my notes here. Um, and this also, because of the uh, resonance and because of the, uh, the machining process, it, you feel a sense of stability that you may not get in, in a traditional instrument. I mentioned the, the tuning slide materials. Uh, so, and it, again, they affect the sound. So this is gonna give you a little bit more warmth. The yellow brass is gonna give you a little bit brightness okay all right so um in order to keep this video from being like an hour long it's already getting kind of lengthy i'm gonna i'll play for you real quick in this configuration i'm just using a essentially a c cupped mouthpiece standard mouthpiece and uh but we'll use it with with the phosphor bronze i've got the heavier valve cap and then i'll try a couple of variations where we swap out the valve cap swap out the tuning slide let you hear the difference all while keeping the same mouthpiece And because I can't think of anything to play, I'm just going to play scales and make stuff up. Now, I naturally kind of have a... And the, of course, this thing along from Sarge. I naturally have kind of a bright sound, uh, which is why I like these elements that add a little bit of darkness to it. Your mileage may vary. All right, so now I'm taking off the, the heavier cap and I'm putting on one of the, um, the hollow caps, so our medium weight caps. So 
with that, I don't know how well this comes across on the, on the camera, but I just hear a little bit more of those top resonant harmonics coming through with that mouthpiece, or with that, with that valve cap. Okay, and then if we swap tuning slides, now we're going to yellow brass. Got the yellow brass in. So even, <laughs> buddy, even brighter still uh, with that with that uh, on there. If we wanted even brighter, we could swap valve caps. Let me do that real quick. There it is with the standard bottom valve caps. And you can tell as I've changed the weight, like the slotting of the instrument has changed slightly. Um, which I could adjust to and get used to, but I just haven't played it in this configuration before. So I'm a little squirrely. Honestly, I'm usually a little squirrely on that anyway. <laughs> Not always the most accurate player. I'm a hobbyist player, you know. Uh, but anyway, so that's the brightest configuration. If you need it brighter than that, honestly, at that point, you're probably just switching over and using like a brighter, shallower mouthpiece. So this is just a, a lead mouthpiece. It's not anything crazy. You know, it's not like a nickel with a hole in it. Uh, uh, but it, it is, is my lead mouthpiece, and so I'll do the same thing with this. If you were to play in this configuration and you're a lead player and you're using a lead mouthpiece, you will probably find that you need to start backing off uh, from what you're used to playing on your other stuff. It's just, it is that much more efficient and easier to play. Okay, and for grins, I added the heavyweight valve tops. Now I weighed these as well, and the standard valve tops are 0.2 of an ounce. That's what they look like. And the heavy valve tops are 0.6 of an ounce. So they're three times heavier. The instrument does feel heavier with them, with them on. When I push the valves down, now instead of it being like sitting on top like the other one was, they just are recessed and not screwed in all the way. So they're recessed, so you can see it's flush once it's pushed down, instead of being on top like that, it's flush. And they are three times heavier. Um, my guess is this is gonna make the sound even a little bit darker still. Yep, heavier still. Um, I feel like the sound is more focused with those on. Um, maybe because I've played it so much with them off, I don't prefer it. Uh, but someone might, someone might prefer that little more focused and um, would probably maybe increase your overall projection if you're in a situation where you needed that. Uh, but yeah, there's those. Nice option to have either way. Should also mention too that uh, this horn will be for sale and uh, we will run it through our shop and totally clean it and get all the grime and water spots off of it after having me, me play it. So, exceptional horn. Well done, Lotus Trumpets, Adam Rappa and the team, uh, Heinrich and everyone else at, at uh, Lotus. Uh, a really, really nice instrument. If you're like me, you know, you, I prefer the phosphor bronze slide, the, the medium caps with the heavy cap on there. I'm not normally a player that like likes heavy instruments necessarily, but just because I already, already had kind of play with a natural brilliance, uh, taking a little bit of that edge off, I find very useful for me. If you were someone that has like a, a generally more darker sound and needed a way to like kind of cut through an ensemble, you would want to start finding ways to add more resonance and brightness to your sound. 
and this instrument gives you that flexibility. So I think this is a good instrument. Who is this for? This instrument is if you're the kind of player that you need one horn to rule them all, maybe you play in a variety of type of ensembles, um, you're probably also someone who, you know, loves having an instrument that gives you like a nice full sound that kind of envelops you without necessarily being like just shrill and harsh and bright. Honestly, you're probably someone who appreciates just nice things. These instruments are not cheap. The time I'm recording this video, this is a $5,700 trumpet, uh, $5,700. Um, so if you're the kind of person who just likes nice things and appreciates craftsmanship and unique, thoughtful, designed uh, items, things that are different from the norm, this is probably something for you to consider. Okay, so well done, great instruments. Hopefully you found this instrument, this, this review useful. Uh, we do have these for sale. Uh, at the time you'll see this video, our website's garbage, so that won't be very helpful to you, but the website is erniewilliamsonmusic.com or erniewilliamson.com. In the meantime, feel free to shoot me an email with any of your Lotus trumpet questions. We're also a Lotus mouthpiece dealer. Um, and you can email me at donovan, D-O-N-O-V-A-N, at erniewilliamson.com. Okay, thank you for watching.